attending the Armoured Vehicle series of events for a number of years and the, the conference in uh, Latin America has proven to be a useful event for, for Pace and Engineering. Uh, it tends to bring together a number of key stakeholders from regional um, countries. Um, it is a very focused event and we've found it to deliver real results. Uh, particularly in our area of providing uh, attachments for combat engineers. There are a number of vehicle programs going on in this part of the world and the ability to bring those decision makers together to create initial uh, contact for future discussions has been really useful. Pearson Engineering provides interchangeable attachments for a, a wide variety of armoured vehicles from uh, small lightweight uh, wheeled vehicles to heavyweight tracked vehicles as well. Uh, equipment are provided as attachments which may be um, attached, released and interchanged very quickly. Uh, this provides uh, the ability to maintain a commonality of fleet. You don't need task specific vehicles for obstacles reduction for mine clearance of course they work in conjunction with a, a number of other capabilities but essentially this really helps to um, provide commonality and to uh, increase force ability through um, making vehicles adaptable and flexible to a wide variety of changing environments scenarios and opponents um, we provide a, a broad range of uh, counter mine and counter IED equipment as part of our mobility support um, attachments and it is a, a great sense of pride for, for Pace and Engineering when we hear from uh, the commanders of various armed forces that our equipment has, has helped to save the lives of the troops. Um, this has ha happened um, a great deal um, with operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. We learned that our counter IED and counter mine rollers were instrumental in, in protecting a number of lives um, and we um, have received lots of information and, and thanks from, from troops who were uh, in vehicles that would otherwise have been um, affected by an IED event.